On this solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, we celebrate and acknowledge the dogma of the Church that Mary was conceived without original sin. In today's Gospel, it is implicit in the greeting of the angel Gabriel, Hail, full of grace, that Mary, by God's grace and plan, was preserved from the stain of original sin. In her humility, Mary doesn't understand this greeting and message of Gabriel, but she listens to God's call in her life and immediately accepts her vocation to become the mother of the Messiah, the mother of God. God prepared her for this mission through her Immaculate Conception. Both Mary and our first parents were created without original sin. Adam and Eve questioned God's love and denied his gift. Mary, the new Eve, accepted God's love with her whole heart and gave her complete yes to his plan with her response, let it be done to me according to your word. She gave her whole self, body and soul, offering her life and her virginal womb to the Lord. In return, Mary brought forth Jesus, the life and light of the world. Mary is the first and most perfect disciple of Christ. She accepted in faith without completely understanding the message of the angel, nor did she have a complete idea of how her life would be lived out. She was receptive to the will of God, and with a servant's heart, she became the handmaid of the Lord. Upon hearing of Elizabeth's conception of a son in her old age, Mary goes immediately to visit her and proclaims in her Magnificat that God has mercy on all generations who fear him, lifting up the lowly and feeding the hungry with good things. Mary was not freed from difficulties in her life, but she models for us how joyfully to give the gift of an undivided heart can serve the Christ child, our Savior, as his faithful and receptive disciples, proclaiming the gospel, helping the less fortunate, and giving our whole heart to the Lord. On this Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we thank God for creating the new Eve, and we ask for her intercession to help us imitate her total surrender of self to our Lord and Savior, Jesus.